Volumetric analysis requires that one solution must have an accurately known concentration. This solution is called the standard solution. Now the standard solution may be either a primary standard or a secondary standard. There's a few criteria that the primary standards must satisfy, so here goes. It has to be of high purity, so no cider reactions occur. Accurately in a known composition with a high molecular weight. This is to reduce the percentage error in weighing. It has to be readily soluble in pure distilled water. It has to be free of moisture. So concentrated sulfuric acid is not a suitable primary standard as it absorbs water from the atmosphere. It has to be stable and unaffected by air during weighing. Unlike sodium hydroxide, which is unsuitable as it absorbs moisture from the air during weighing, which is known as deliquescence. It also reacts with carbon dioxide in the air and forms sodium hydrogen carbonate. Now that's not good. Furthermore, hydrochloric acid is not a suitable primary standard as it fumes and loses hydrogen chloride gas. And hydrous sodium carbonate, however, is a suitable primary standard because the white solid is dried in a drying oven and then allowed to cool in the desiccator. The final product is free of water and its exact composition is sodium carbonate. So how do we prepare these standard solutions? Well, say we want to make 250 ml of 0.05 moles per litre sodium carbonate solution. The mass needs to be determined, so N equals CV, plug in the values, giving us this, use moles equals mass on molar mass, so mass equals moles times molar mass, plug in the values, done. So we'll use an illegal grade anhydrous sodium carbonate, anhydrous meaning there's no water. This solid has a greater than 99.9% .9 purity. The solid itself is dried at 150 to 180 degrees Celsius in a drying oven for 30 minutes and then allowed to cool in a desiccator containing drying crystals. The dry solid, which is going to be this, is then weighed into a dry 50 ml beaker on an electronic balance of no less than 3 decimal places. Use a plastic wash bottle to add a little bit of distilled water to the beaker and use a glass rod to stir the mixture to completely dissolve the sodium carbonate. Keep the glass rod in the beaker at all times. This is then transferred to a clean volumetric flask. This should be rinsed prior to use and it doesn't matter if it isn't dry as more water will be added anyways. Transfer your solution using a small glass funnel into the volumetric flask. Use the wash bottle to transfer any stubborn solution remaining in your beaker into the flask as well as give it a good rinse so it goes in. Make sure you also rinse the glass steering rod so it all goes into the flask. Now it's time to add the rest of the distilled water into the flask. Fill it up until you're about a centimeter from the line. The tiny funnel should also be rinsed at this point. Remove it and add distilled water drop by drop until the bottom of the meniscus is aligned with the engraved line. Avoid parallax errors and once done, just place a stopper, invert it three times and it's ready to go. Also, label the flask with 0.05 moles per litre of sodium carbonate. 